and welcome to my YouTube channel for vlogmas. Hey, ni me wambia. This is when we will start the vlogs in the car a lot. But it's okay. It's not a bad thing. Creativity kitu twanga ndani ya gari. We start. So, I am um, I ended a vlog. Um I did a vlog to my daughter's school. I ended it here. So we are starting this one here. Okay, not so I ended it going to Dinah's school. Um we it was amazing. So that video is uploading. So I'm very excited, I'm very happy. She's doing really well. Her violin performance was amazing. I was just like, oh my god, that's my baby. And then my brother also did his performance. He did really well. He plays the drums. Um, yeah, so it's called the the school offers um, extra lessons for like they call it peripathy. That that a name for it for those um, instruments. So there's like the violin, the saxophone, the piano. If you want a child to do the piano, like aside from the normal music classes, you can pay for something extra. So that's what we opted. I pay for Dinah, my mom pays for my brother. If you don't know, I have a 10 year old brother and my daughter is six. Yeah. Then is six. Moses is 10. Hello. Yeah. So my brother is eh, he's 10. My daughter is six. So they go to the same school. Yes, and I do the picking and the dropping unless something happens and then my mom or the driver or someone will take over. We'll just suji panga, but ideally it's my responsibility. Oh, I, was, I was thinking maybe in image got the wrong route, I should have gone the other way. But anyways, let's just go down this way and then we'll figure things out. But anyway, so today, right now, so today I went to Dana School and the, and the vlog is out. But I said I'll not be posting my child's performances because I respect her privacy and the privacy of other children that she performs with. So that's why we are not posting Dana's performances, unfortunately. Um, another thing, so to, right now I'm heading out to my friend Nira's graduation. She passed the bar, eh, 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 Wakili. So I'm going to Wakili's uh, passing the bar party graduation. And I am very, I am actually running late. It started almost an hour ago. But I'm okay with it because I had confirmed that I'm going to my daughter's school first. And I needed to come back and charge my phone before heading to, you know, to Nira's party. But I'm really excited for Nira. And I think she's done a really good thing. It's not easy. And yeah, Nira is my friend from cycling. So that's why I'm heading right now. I don't know if I'll be able to vlog because maybe one thing I respect is people's privacy. I don't like just pulling out my camera, recording people and posting it on YouTube and online. If they haven't given, if I haven't had that conversation with them and they've given consent, uh, yeah. And I really like it when people ask me for consent before posting my child or anything. Just, just ask, you know. Um, I think it's quite strange. I've been around people who just pull out their cameras and the next thing you're online and you. And initially, I never used to have a problem, but then of late, I'm just like, because now when I'm about to post, so this is what happened when I went to. We cycled to Malindi in October. So from Nairobi to Voi, um, I cycled with five men. Um, these men were significantly older than I am, with kids and, and wives and whatnot, with families. And it's important that I say this, yeah? Um, so I posted videos of, just videos and post on TikTok. I mean, not TikTok, on um, on Twitter. So I posted on Twitter that we are cycling to Nini Nini, we are here and we are on our way. So that was what I did. I just posted that we are on our way. I think to Likwa Sultan Hamoud at that point or Salama. 
no, we are past Salama, so I think we're at Sultan Hamoud. I just threw a tweet on Twitter, on X. We call it X now. And, yeah. So, when we got to Emali, when we're having lunch and I'm checking my phone, it's blown up. It may blow up. And I'm like, wait, what's going on? Kumbe, my tweet went viral. So, people are like, oh my God, this is so exciting. This is crazy. How many kilometers? Like, all these questions. And then, when we got to the first place was Kibwezi, now questions start coming in. And, and my, my, my guy, the guys I was with start getting phone calls. Oh my God, I'm seeing you cycling with this girl to Malindi. I'm seeing you cycling with this girl. I'm seeing you with this girl. I'm seeing you with this girl. This girl on Twitter. And I was just like, yo. So, even now people started um, uh, saying, oh, I know that guy. We work together. I know this guy. He's my brother. And things like that. So, when that happened, it's when it actually hit me. You know, you never know. So, after that moment, I kept any pictures I took, I shared with them and I told them, I'm posting this. Are you guys okay with it? Yes. If they're okay, I post. If not, I don't. Because then I realized a lot is at stake. Could be, I don't know, could just be anything. And I don't want to be the reason. I don't want my platform to be the reason someone is uncomfortable hanging out with me. Because they just think I'll always pull out my phone, take pictures and just post online. Because I'm thinking about if it's my dad. Because um, some of them I think are actually like my dad's age or thereabout. If it was him, I don't think he like he'd love to just be posted online and whatnot. So yeah, I learned how to respect people's privacy. Nothing crazy happened, but just that. So when that happened, I was just like, hey, apana, I need to be asking people for consent but even before then I, I just started normally asking people so whenever before i do anything i always say oh do you guys mind the videos today will be going online um if there's anything you don't want to be seen or heard let me know then i'll just edit it out or something i like to be very considerate of the people around me because i realize respect is very important and then you know we i remember last year when we had gone for my friends and i went to malindi for a while we were doing that um judicial attachment and there's a girl who just pulled out her phone and just was seated somewhere and this girl who just pulled out her phone take videos and just post online post online post online and i thought it was crazy because I didn't feel like she was actually in the moment enjoying things, but she would easily just be taking pictures to post. And that just put me in... The people around me now, the people I had made friends with, weren't so comfortable with that. They're not social media people. And then, I don't know if they're trying to hide shit. I don't know. But people just weren't comfortable around that kind of behavior where it's like, oh, tell your friend not to record us. Tell your friend not to do this. And when I thought about it, it makes sense. Imagine kuna watu karia zao, like, their world doesn't revolve around social media. And they just don't like it. Just don't post me. And people are allowed to. And I'm not talking about, like, my relationships, whether muna postia ama apana, is only different. But, like, I think it's very important, especially now that... Now that I've grown older and my networks are very diverse, when I think about the people around me, it's people who are like way older, people are like in like different kinds of careers, and I'm seeing how social media doesn't matter to some, most of the people I hang out with, social media doesn't matter anymore. So actually sometimes I barely post online. But eh, so that actually was just an interesting um perspective ni melan so you don't just always pull out your camera you don't just always post without asking people for consent and things like children are non-negotiable and say just don't post people's children story. unless they straight up said yeah, yeah you can post don't do it straight up and i like people who ask for consent before they they post children even if i post my child's that's not guarantee that you can just ask and I'll say yes or no. And I like that. I like my friends who do. I like um, people who always
there's respect banner and then like oh i took this picture of their child can i post it do you mind most times i don't um my very close friends ah, those ones are aunties i don't mind but if we just met recently in nini just ask and then I'll give you consent. Then maybe on a bad day I'll just be like, oh, not today. I don't feel like it. And also not that. I'm, I'm realizing um, opinions change. Um, now, I rarely post Dina. Not because I don't want to, but because she's starting to give me boundaries and say, mommy, no. She's starting to say, mommy, I don't be. I don't don't take a picture of me today and I think it's the first time she said it I was like you for real but then now I'm realizing Apana, she's right I don't have to post her come attack you attack you Santa do hey and I learned to respect that so now I'm no longer posting as much because now I know she's not too excited about it but if you see me posting I've normally asked her do you like this video should I post it mommy like yeah sometimes when i take a picture of her she's like don't take a picture i don't like it but when she wants she always tells me mommy can i do this video with you can you post this post this uh, please post this video mommy for me um i want you to put this on your instagram she actually says it so yeah learn to melan could respect people's privacy because i think it's one of the most important things privacy 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 don't play with people's privacy and yeah online and no digital footprints are important love data ume mtu ameambiana eh ako ako sick leave na amekuja kaendesha baiskeli hadi mali na woko hapo ume post online na yet anyway it's not fine don't lie to your bosses guys but yeah i get it just don't be posting people online i hope i don't know about you but that was something i learned um what kind of behaviors have you learned now when it comes to like the digital yeah, for me that has been an eye opener just respecting boundaries and i think it's so important now see lazima i'm trying to explain why they don't do what you do see lazima it's just enough to say oh i don't want a picture taken of me or take pictures of me but please don't put it put them online and let's respect that i'm an yaji i'm realizing this video has gone on for quite some time i thought it would be a vlog but we've done a quick um nini so i'm not sure if i want to do a full-on vlog if i don't let's catch you on the next video i'm very excited about vlogmas if i do the vlog Please watch the rest of the video, finish it, 